Hi, my name is Kevin from Sotec West Coast. I'm standing in Tableview, just outside Cape Town, South Africa. People keep asking me the same questions day in and day out. They want to know what size solar system, how many panels do I need, should I have a solar geyser, why are they lighting? Today I'm going to answer some of those questions for you. Question we want to answer today is why do we service a solar geyser? Come, let's look at what we do in a service. The tank needs to be flushed to remove a buildup of water, sediment, and sludge. An indirect system needs the glycol refilled because there is loss from evaporation. And a direct system needs the water to be flushed to cleanse the collector from any buildup of sediment. Let's look at a video now. Here's Ray, a plumber, on a roof opening up a collector. There you go. Look at that water that comes out of the collector. It is so dirty. Your water passes through that dirty water at the bottom of a collector. And that is why a collector needs to be flushed. Thermoset setting is checked and replaced if damaged. The element connection is checked will be replaced also if it's been damaged and the flange gasket is replaced if it's damaged. These are all working parts in a solar geyser. Here yeah, Ray is going to show us what he does when he checks a thermostat. He's undoing the protective cover to the thermostat. He's going to loosen the, the electrical wire connection to it. And then he will remove the thermostat, which he then checks to see that the thermostat is still working. And he makes sure that it is not set above 60 degrees to give your tank longer life. We find often that thermostats are set at the maximum of 70, and this is not ideal setting to be on. The timer settings are checked, excessive dust buildup on the collector is removed, lagging is checked and damage lagging will be replaced. The solar geyser is checked for any damage or potential problems. Here on the right is a flange gasket that was leaking and water was running over the electrical wires to the element. Anoids are checked for wear and tear and replaced if required. Electrical wires are checked for any loose connections or if badly rusted. Valves and shutoff valves have to be checked for any leaks and tightened if required. Broken and damaged valves are replaced if necessary. On the right you can see photographs of what we have found on certain installations. So to summarize, why do we serve as a solar geyser? Preventative maintenance always costs less than emergency callouts. We want to prevent the inconvenience caused from a solar geyser that is not working and so that you can have the full benefit from your solar geyser through regular servicing. I trust this video has been of use to you. Please like it, pass it on to your friends. There's all our contact details. Let's talk to one another. Thank you.